Hey everyone, it's Wednesday the 11th of August and the time is 8.30 in the evening. And in this video I'm going to show you a new bicycle project that I picked up last week. But before we get into that, I also want to mention that I've got a new camera that I'm using. It's um, still only a high def camera, it's not a 4K or anything fancy like that. But uh, here's the other one, still works, I can still use it. Um, it's just been dropped several times. I mean, look at the bottom there. Um, but yeah, it still works fine. Um, but the new one that I'm filming with right now is also a Sony Handycam, but not the same model. Um, there's a little bit, I think there's a little bit of visual difference. Uh, not a great deal, actually. Um, this one doesn't have a USB pigtail. It's got a USB socket on the side of it. Um, this also came with a power supply. I've got you plugged in so I haven't got to worry about a battery going dead. Why I didn't buy one of those for this when I bought this four years ago is beyond me. But <laughs> sort of wish I did but never mind. Um, that's something different as well. That's where your tripod screw is. On the one I'm filming with it's back here somewhere which I prefer because this it actually sits on the platform of the tripod a lot better than this one. This one's also got the um, projector. That one doesn't. But that's got one thing I actually love that this one doesn't and that's a touch screen. This one actually has a touch screen on it. So I can uh, hit record and actually I can zoom in and out as well without having to hit the buttons at the back. That's one thing that is actually the same, this button layout here. There's your zoom on this one. That's the one that you use to take your photos with. That's your record button. That's exactly the same on this one. So they didn't change that. I think it's even still charged. You can see this one's not touch screen. You actually have to navigate with this tiny little sort of joystick thing up the corner here. But uh, yeah, it still works. A lot of the writing I've noticed is actually fading on it now. 9.2 megapixel for um, still photos. Right, I'm just going to take a drink. Coca Cola Zero Cherry, it's still not the best. I still prefer Pepsi. To me, Coca-Cola Zero and Coca-Cola Diet taste exactly the same, which is basically tasteless to my taste buds. I, I just, I don't like the taste of it. Um, anyway, I'll digress a bit. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take you off the tripod because it's going to be easier to show you everything that way and uh, we'll have a look at this new project, shall we? So, I'm just going to pause you for that. Alright, we're back and I've got you off the tripod. I'll just move it out of the way. This is the tripod I use, by the way. It's quite a heavy one as well. Not a bad thing if you're outside and you're on a windy day. It's got some spikes and things on the bottom there as well if you need them. I can actually screw these plastic feet down so it sits on those, but I've just left it as it is. So, right, yeah, anyway, I digressed again. So here it is. It's a Saracen Raw. Now, I had one of these some years ago. And for some reason, I decided to sell it, and I wish I didn't, because I actually really liked that bike. I may have needed a bit of money at the time, I can't remember, but either way, I sold it and regretted it. Uh, yeah, so this was a Facebook Marketplace find. I'd seen it on there for a good two or three weeks before I decided to buy it. At least two weeks, actually. Um, but it was only 20 quid, as it sits now. In fact, there was a gel seat cover on that. It's just over there. I've taken it off because it looked horrible. Um, it's got these cantilever brakes on the back, which aren't meant to be there. You see, it's sort of been bodged. But, oddly enough, it does work fine. That really did surprise me, to be honest. I've just got this 
cable flapping around there. <coughs> oh, pardon me. They've resprayed the um, forks black. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, I could drop the forks out of there. I'm going to have to drop the forks out anyway to sort this out. See, they've put these spaces on to obviously raise the handlebars, but they haven't put the cap back on here. So all the grease and everything has all got dried up and everything in there and water's gotten into it. And so they'll want replacing. It works fine. There's no wobble. There's, it's not stiff, which is another thing I don't understand. But I am watching some parts for that on eBay. I haven't hit the buy button yet because I haven't checked the measurement of this to make sure they're going to fit. But this was full of rust, but I took a steel... A brush wheel to it in a drill and it's come up quite nicely. In fact I've just realised I've scratched a fudge out of that bit. Never mind. So what I might do with the forks is take them out, um, use paint stripper to get all that old paint off and do a proper respray on them. That's something I can do here. I could do that out front on a nice day. Um, one thing I don't like about this camera, believe it or not, that is fully zoomed out. I can't Nope. Yep, that is fully zoomed out. <laughs> it's different to the other one. You could zoom out a lot further than that. So I do apologise if everything uh, looks rather close up. Uh, I'm going to put V-brakes in it. I've got a pair of wheels. Now, I did have a Claude Butler project, which I got rid of because I just you know, I thought I've got too many Claude Butlers. I don't need to build another hardtail, so... Um, got rid of the frame, but kept the wheels. I didn't have no forks for it or anything anyway, so. Um, and I actually forgot I had these until I was rooting around in my shed downstairs today. And I found, I was like, oh, good pair of wheels there. So, that's actually got a six-speed freewheel on it, and it should be a seven. So that's probably not the original wheel for this bike. I know it should be seven because the grip shit, shit. When he said the grip shit, well they are shit, but the grip shift is seven speed. <laughs> so chain is rusted solid, so I don't even have to gear shift or anything because I can't pedal it. I do want to change these pedals if I can get them out because steel pedals in an aluminium crankshaft it might be an absolute bastard. I may end up uh, changing the whole crank set. Which I don't mind, because I bought this as a project for myself. So I don't mind forking out whatever money I need on it. <clears throat> you know, it's not something I'm doing up to sell on, so I haven't got to do it to a budget or anything to try and make money on it. I bought it for myself, as a little treat for myself. Because I wanted another raw. So, uh, I think the Dralia mechs are okay. Front one could do with a bit of cleaning up, I think. Uh, bottom bracket bearings, are they okay? Very minute little bit of play in there, but nothing serious. I could probably just tighten that up a bit. Or I could just replace it. I'll decide that later. Um, I have got a V-brake down there. But I may go into Wilco's at some point this week and just see if I can get a new one. If it's cheap enough, I might just get a new set for it. Um, I've got some decent uh, cable noodles here. I've got cables, I've got a new chain. I've got new handlebar grips because I'm changing the gear shifters to these ones. 8-speed. Because I absolutely adore this style of shifter. Or even the um, style like this that doesn't have the... Um, incorporated brake lever I just I really do not get on with grip shifts I've got a rally downstairs that I must change those grip shifts on as well because I hate them so obviously these are going to be too short anyway so I'll just cut these off and bin them because they're going to be any good these I will keep hold of because they will be good I still can't believe that bodge actually works as well as it does nice brake pads in there at all. I don't 
don't have the tyres hold air, I've not even pumped them up. I've bought myself a new foot pump. My old one still works, it's over at Mum's at the minute. Um, but the problem with that one is, my gauge on the other one sticks. It gets up to like 30, 35 psi and then it just sticks there, the needle doesn't go any higher. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've got all my bits and bobs that I may need down here, mostly cables and things. Because that's really all that this would need to make it rideable. And the chain obviously because it's rusted. In theory I could just leave the brakes as they are. <laughs> I'm not going to. I swear that swing arm is actually... That was the same on my Saracen Roar as well, my old one. Look, that's a lighter shade of red. And that's a darker shade of red. That was exactly the same on my old Saracen Roar. I don't think this is the one. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was the one though, wouldn't it? And they've uh, pulled it apart. Perhaps on bikes in the future I should take the frame number down, which is usually under there. So I can see for sure if anything comes back to me. <clears throat> I wanted to pump these tyres up, but it's getting a bit late now. I don't think my neighbours would appreciate me squeaking a foot pump on the floor. <laughs> but, uh, I want to reuse that handlebar as well, so I may have to buy myself another handlebar stem because that's crap. And the only one I've got, which has got a big enough diameter there to fit that handlebar, because it's quite a wide one, is this one. I've got two more. If you look, the uh, diameter there is way too narrow. And the only other handlebar I've got is a black one somewhere down there. But, uh, I don't really want to use that one. I want to use that one because I like it, so I may go shopping on eBay for a uh, handlebar stem. I think the crank teeth, yeah the crank is okay, the teeth are okay on that. I can't see any of that broken or worn or pointy or anything like that, so there's no chain guard on it, but I kind of wish there was. Ooh. So I think the next video will be me getting my tools out and wrenching on this thing, and I might bring my uh, bike stand from the sh up from the shed as well, so I can sit it in that. That would also save me from uh, banging on the floor as well and upsetting the neighbours. Although I might still drop a spanner anyway, because <laughs> I'm a clumsy asshole. But never mind. <clears throat> They're quick quick release wheels as well. Can't get me words out tonight. Yeah, quite looking forward to getting stuck into this. I think I can keep that seat post. It's not too bad. We'll put a new seat on it at some point. But that's not important. Really the important bits would be just to swap these wheels out Sort the brakes out, sort the gears out, sort that mess out. <laughs> All them bloody spaces. <laughs> I did chuckle when I saw that the first time. Anywho, I'm going to call it quits for this video, so it's a nice quick short one for a change on the new camera. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.